Hello, first community. Teams, coaches, mentors, volunteers, alumni, sponsors, parents, friends, everyone. We are the 2024 First Tech Challenge Dean's List Award winners, an honor to be your host for today's celebration. Welcome to the First Tech Challenge 2024-2025 season kickoff and reveal of Into the Deep, presented by RTX, all part of the first dive season presented by Qualcomm. We have an awesome show for you with special messages from a few of your first faves, and of course, the highly anticipated reveal of the 2024-2025 game. All of the Into the Deep game materials will be published on our website after the broadcast, so please use the website as your reference during the season. But before we dive in, here to share his excitement is first Chief Executive Officer, Chris Moore. Hello, First Tech Challenge community. Welcome to a new year of problem solving, creativity, and discovery. I'm thrilled to be part of today's reveal of Into the Deep, presented by RTX. You are among more than 100,000 First Tech Challenge participants around the world who will uncover the potential in each of us to strengthen our community and innovate for a better world with healthy oceans. A special thank you to our generous sponsors, including the First Tech Challenge season presenting sponsor, RTX, for making Into the Deep possible, and First Dive season presenting sponsor, Qualcomm, for helping us explore the future. And my sincerest gratitude to you, our participants, our coaches and mentors, our volunteers, and our passionate supporters around the world. Thank you for making First Tech Challenge the successful, engaging, and fun program that it is. On behalf of all of us here at First, wishing you the best of luck as you embark on this new season. We can't wait to see what you discover beneath the surface of the oceans within yourselves and in collaboration with each other. Thank you, Mr. Moore. An enormous thank you to all our supporters and generous sponsors this year for making the first dive season and Into the Deep game possible. Each season, the work you do together to solve problems and make waves with your innovations reminds Qualcomm that the future of breakthrough technologies needs you. Hello, First Tech Challenge teams, and welcome to Into the Deep, part of the first dive season presented by Qualcomm. I'm Vanita Kumar, Senior Vice President of Engineering at Qualcomm Technologies. Beneath the ocean's surface lies our planet's most complex ecosystem, full of life and potential for exploration and learning. Like these ecosystems, beneath the surface of every new technology lies a community of inventors, collaborators, problem solvers, and creative thinkers. We all have a role to play in building a thriving future, like wireless reach to support sustainable fishing or digital positioning services to improve supply chains across the oceans. As your team explores uncharted waters this season, what solutions will you come up with? How can your STEM skills innovate for a better world with healthier oceans? Good luck teams, let's dive in. Thank you Qualcomm. And now the Into the Deep season presenting sponsor, RTX is taking us beachside to share some of the ways they're using innovation, teamwork, and STEM skills to help monitor and sustain healthy oceans. Welcome to the 2024 First Tech Challenge season, Into the Deep presented by RTX. During this year's competition, you'll dive your robots into the depths of the world's oceans to explore the unknown. This ocean behind me is so much more than what you and I can see. Beneath the surface lies a vast and complex ecosystem. You'll learn about that during the Into the Deep season. But at RTX, it's part of our mission. Every day, we're focused on advancing sustainable aviation, reducing energy and emissions, and minimizing our resource use. We're even developing tools that harness the power of the ocean. Let's take a look. From 500 miles up in space, the Visible Infrared Imaging Radiometer Suite, or VIRS, which is what I work on, rides aboard a satellite gathering information about our environment, like ocean chlorophyll levels or algae blooms along the coast. VIRS is basically just a really fancy camera that's changing the way we see our planet. It has a rotating telescope to gather particles of light called photons that travel through various lenses, mirrors, and detectors to generate data that's used to identify things like emerging storm patterns. 
Veers' tracking capabilities can increase warning times on approaching hurricanes and forest fires, and this ultimately saves lives. On board a different satellite, RTX's new Glimmer instrument will collect and process information from across the electromagnetic spectrum to get a detailed view of coastal water conditions. Glimmer will provide precise measurements of ocean ecosystems in the Gulf of Mexico, parts of the U.S. coastline, and the Amazon River. These markers can be used to detect coral bleaching and red tide, and will help decision makers rapidly respond to coastal disasters, like an oil spill. Back here on the ground, RTX is optimizing technologies that predict stream flow and flooding to better understand drought and other water quality challenges. Our goal is to help communities become a more climate-ready nation. Hundreds of RTX employees and mentors worldwide are ready to roll up their sleeves and plunge into the world of robots with you. Join us as we explore the future. By innovating together, we can create a better world with thriving, healthy ocean. Best of luck to this year's teams. Now let's make a splash. Wow, thank you, Julie, for giving us a closer look. And thank you to the more than 500 RTX employees who are FIRST mentors. An important part of what makes FIRST, FIRST is gracious professionalism. It's also at the heart of each team practice, get together, and each and every FIRST Tech Challenge event. Let's take a moment to hear from Senior Program Director, Rachel Moore, on an important message about gracious professionalism. Thanks, Ryan. I know we're all excited to see this year's game reveal, but before we get to that, I'd like to talk a bit about something that's important and at the core of what we do, gracious professionalism. Whether you're a rookie hearing the term for the very first time, or whether, like me, you've been part of the FIRST family for a long time, this is a part of the ethos of FIRST that we can't take for granted. If you've never heard the term before, gracious professionalism is kind of like good sportsmanship. But instead of only describing how to behave when you compete, it applies to all aspects of your life. There isn't one specific definition of gracious professionalism, but it exists in the space where you and your team are performing at their best competitively, but you're also taking time to include and help others. First is a small representation of the real life opportunities that each of you will have to make decisions which reflect gracious professionalism in your everyday life. Many of these decisions that we make may seem tiny or inconsequential, but it's the little choices that each of us make when no one is watching that all combine and fuse together to form our collective culture. It's okay that gracious professionalism is hard to define. You already know how to compete hard, and you know how to be kind. Think about how your actions make others feel and how that makes you feel. How do you feel when you can do the right thing for yourself and others? What if it's only good for you and bad for others? Would you lend a tool to a team in need or give them a spare part? What if that team is on your alliance? What if they're against your alliance later in the tournament? Later, if you didn't help that team when you knew you could, and you beat them, how proud do you feel of that win? You won't always get it right, and that's okay, because gracious professionalism is a journey, not a destination. It's something we should strive to practice every day, but none of us are perfect, and we will fall short some days. When we make a mistake, we should own it, offer a sincere apology, attempt to make amends, and then we have an opportunity to think about how we can do better in the future. First is hard. It's supposed to be. And that means at times during this season, you will feel pressure and experience stress. In those difficult times, it might seem easier to be selfish or only take your own interests into account. After all, even if you do everything the right way, there's only a handful of teams that will win their last match of the season and get to celebrate being world champions. But while there are a limited number of championship trophies, there is no such limit on the number of teams who will have a successful season. Don't waste time on being envious of others' success. Ask questions, challenge yourself, learn from others, and share your own knowledge. Does your team define goals for your season? Do they include defining what success will be? How can you set goals which will help you better practice gracious professionalism? What is one thing you're proud of that you can help another team with? And what will you ask for help with? Don't be afraid to compete, but also have fun and take time to make today a better place for someone else too. In this end of the deep first tech challenge season, remember a rising tide lifts all boats. What an important message from Rachel. Our team coach also makes sure gracious professionalism is a priority for our team. As you and your team dive into this season, make sure you check out our video of tips for how you can practice gracious professionalism on and off the field this year. We also want to share an enormous thank you to our fantastic game design committee, Jessica Bullen-Smith, 
Michael Coleman, Laura Donadio, Mark Edelman, Aaron Fadden, Manny Lowe, Joe Prado, and Kevin Rudd. Thank you for volunteering hundreds of hours creating, refining, and documenting this year's game and the hundreds of hours you will spend in season. And thank you to all of our thousands of volunteers that will make Into the Deep possible for teams around the world. And now, the, the thrilling, thrilling reveal, reveal of the 2024-2025 First, First Tech Challenge game, Into, Into the Deep, Deep presented, presented by RTX. RTX. Welcome to the First Tech Challenge 2024-2025 season game, Into the Deep, presented by RTX. A team consists of up to two driver operators, a human player, a coach, and a robot. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance, but each alliance is allowed one human player. Your opponent for one match may be your partner for another. Robots must be built from materials specified in the competition manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing cube. But after the match starts, robots may expand, but may never horizontally exceed a 20 by 42-inch rectangle. The primary scoring element is a plastic sample, one and a half square by three and a half long. There are 20 samples for the Red Alliance, 20 for the Blue Alliance, and 40 yellow Alliance neutral samples. Another game element is the clip. Each Alliance has access to 20 clips. Human players may attach clips onto samples to create specimens. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot-high walls. A submersible structure is located in the center. Within the submersible are the barriers, low rungs, high rungs, low chambers, and high chambers. In opposite corners are low and high baskets. Below the baskets are the taped-off net zones. On the other corners are taped off observation zones. On both sides of the submersible are the ascent zones. Near the front and back walls are the taped off red, blue, and alliance neutral preset sample zones. April tags are located on the field walls to aid navigation. Blue and red alliance areas are on the left and right sides of the field. Before each match, 60 samples are randomly arranged in the submersible zone. 20 clips are positioned outside of each observation zone, and 12 samples are positioned on the preset sample zones. Teams place their robots on the field, touching the sidewalls. Each robot can start the match with either one specimen or one sample. The field and players are now ready. The match begins with a 30-second autonomous period. During auto, robots may attempt to score using pre-programmed instructions and sensor inputs. Following auto is the two-minute teleoperated period. Robots score using driver inputs. There are many ways to score during the auto and teleop periods. For example, scoring a sample into the net zone earns two points and scoring a sample into the low basket earns four points or eight points for scoring into the high basket. Robots may bring Alliance-specific samples to the observation zone. Human players can attach clips to the samples, turning them into specimens. Scoring a specimen on the low chamber earns six points or 10 points if scored on the high chamber. Sample colors may be neutral or Alliance-specific but specimen colors must be alliance-specific. The last 30 seconds of the teleop period is the end game. Robots may continue scoring, but have protected access to their ascent zones. Each robot contacting the low rung earns three points. If a robot achieves a low-level ascent, it earns 15 points, but a high-level ascent earns 30 points. When the match ends, 
A robot parked in the observation zone earns three points. There are many ways to score in Into the Deep, but there are also rules that if not followed will result in foul points being added to the opposing alliance's score. A robot cannot enter the observation zone if a human player is in that zone. Scoring elements may not be launched. During endgame, robots may not interfere with other robots in their alliance's ascent zone. This has been a summary of this season's game, Into the Deep, presented by RTX. For complete rules, please read the competition manual and check the Q&A forum. And always remember the most important rule of the first tech challenge, gracious professionalism. Good luck, teams, and have a spectacular season. Wow, this game looks incredible. I can't wait to dive in with my team. A special thank you to volunteer Kevin Thorpe for the beautiful animation and alumni director Michelle Long for narrating. For a deeper dive on gameplay strategy, visit our game and season page after the broadcast for links to detailed field walkthroughs with First Tech Challenge project manager Aaron Fadden and the game animation. We can't wait to see your creative solutions and robots in action on the field. Everyone's invited to explore Into the Deep. If you haven't registered yet, there's still time to join in on the action. Visit our website for details and steps to get started. Already on a team? Check out our free social graphics, recruitment posters, logos, and more. And be sure to tag First Tech Challenge on your team's social posts. Thanks for joining us to kick off the season and for being a part of the FIRST community. Good luck, teams. The ocean awaits.